Hey everyone, welcome back to another gaming video. Today, we're on HIIO again, and we're checking out a game called Brewing Bonds. Brewing Bonds. This was a game that was recently submitted to a game jam, New Year, New Skills game jam. And I decided, why not? Let's check it out. We've been playing a lot of horror games lately, but I wanted to play something different. So this is like one of the games I found. I'll be playing numerous games in the near future, so make sure you tune into those. But Brewing Bonds is the game we chose for today. You play a little cat who just arrived in a new town to make their dreams come true, owning a coffee shop. Meet some extraordinary villagers and make drinks that try to fit the customer's preferences and envy, so you can build a connection and learn more about the story. So this is a game that I decided to check out as I said before. I don't know what to expect. I don't know what will happen. So come along with me today as we check this game out together. So grab a snack, maybe grab a coffee, a latte, a tea, and we'll just jump right into it. See what this game has to offer. It's been a long road. I shouldn't be that far from the town now. If I remember correctly, it should be around here. There it is. I'm coming in. He's coming in hot. Oh, cat. Here you are. How was your journey? Fine, but long. I'm glad to finally be here. Great. As agreed upon, this coffee shop is now all yours. I just finished gathering all the basic equipment you will need. Here is the cash machine. This is where you will spend most of your time taking customers' orders and talk with them. You can find all the different cups in this closet. Once you've chosen the cup, you can fill it to create your recipe. Here is the coffee machine. Here's the kale to make some tea. And the chocolate machine is there. If you wish to throw away a recipe, make sure to use the sink here. You can write notes about your customers in this book. It would be important to take care of people's habits to best serve their needs. That's it for now. Thank you very much. I have no doubt that you are the perfect one for this coffee shop. Take your time to understand your customers' needs. The more you take care of them, the closer to you they will feel. You may learn a lot of things about their lives. Anyways, I will let you get used to your new place. Have a nice day. Thanks. You too. Let's see if I remember all that. Well, I guess it's time to get back to work. Let's see if I remember all of these where stuff is. Day one. Hello, cat. May I have a common drink and a little cup, please? Sure, just give me a second. Can I make notes about that? Okay. Nothing there to see. So you want a little cup coming right up. A little cup. Exactly what I was expected. Okay. Please give me something, even a kid could drink. A little cup, please. Sure. Just give me a second. Little cup. And. Hot cocoa. Uh. Yeah. Just uh, regular hot cocoa should be fine. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. I saw that you just opened. 
Yes, it's been my dream for a while now. I hope it will work out. How nice. It sure is. You can call me Cat. Everyone around here, everyone around me calls me like that. My name is Harry March. Call me Harry if you want to. Oh, now that I have the shrink in my hands, I wonder if I made the right choice. Was it better to have something shorter and strong? Or maybe something bigger so it lasts longer at work? And I should have taken something for my boss. Surely he will shout at me. If you have some time, I can make... I don't have all my time. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to scream at you. I beg your pardon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, Harry. I didn't take it personally. Come back next time. Hope you can feel like home here. Yes, surely. Sorry again. I want a fancy drink with whipped cream in the little cup, please. Sure, just give me a second. Little cup. Let's see what we have here. Um. No. No. This one has whipped cream in it. Vinny's Cocoa. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. Wait, he's back. I want something to have. I want something to have wake up and have fun after work in a large cup, please. Sure, just give me a second. Large cup. And something to wake up in a large cup. Uh. Have a latte. Is this good for you? Thank you. Not exactly what I wanted, but this is a good choice too. I'll talk to you in a minute, sir. Give me one. I want to this book does. Oh, so the mayor of the village, always late, a very stretched out rabbit. Frogberry, a specimen which colonized the village since the period of heavy rain started. Hi there, I would like something with alcohol if you have it in a little cup, please. Sure, just give me a second. I already know what you want, so little cup. Then we go over to the coffee machine. And you want this Irish coffee. Recipe, Irish coffee. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. Here's your drink, sir. Sorry for the wait. Oh, it's Mr. Far, not Fox. Far. I've known better. You keep the comment for yourself. I can see the potential, but the flavor is still there, brand. Also, I can see that your cafe is very empty at the moment. Only three chairs, but we can't even sit on it. Good, sir. I just arrived in town recently. I didn't have time to get all the furniture. At least I can make most drinks that people want, even if it's only basic ones for now. I guess we'll need to wait for the next update then. Thank you for the drink still. I expect better next time. Bro, rude guy. No more customers. I guess it's time to close the door and rest. Day two. Hey, Frogberry. I want a mix of vanilla and berry flavors in a medium cup, please. Sure, give me a second. Okay. Let's see, cough machine. This one, and maybe this one. Okay, and then 
Wait, which one did I... Oh, my. Yep, it's now empty. Okay. Uh... I think this one, because this is now a... I'll try this one out. try this out. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. Hi there. I would like to order something to have wake up and have fun after work in a large cup, please. Sure, just give me a second. but this is a good choice too. I want a fancy drink with whipped cream and a little ice cup, please. Sure. A uh, little cup. And you want some whipped cream, which is fine. We'll give you a hot cup of whipped cream. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. Please give me a fancy drink with whipped cream in a large cup, please. Okay. Um, chocolate machine. This one. Thank you very much. This is exactly what, what, I, what I wanted. Today was a tough day. What happened? First of all, I woke up late because I didn't hear my alarm clock. I arrived late at work and got roasted. After that, I had to deal with multiple annoying customers that didn't understand the difficulties of my job. Not gonna lie, I am quite tired of how people have no compassion for others. And then my boss said it was all my fault, just to make a good impression in front of the customer. I can't believe it. Really? That is insane. Yeah, then he told me that he would not accept another day like this. So now, I am scared of losing my job. I am so sorry to hear that. I hope this will become better soon f for you. Thank you very much for the support. Oh, by the way, how much do I have to pay for the drink? Don't bother yourself with that. Your day was hard enough. Take it as a gift. That is so grateful. At least you and your coffee shop are here to enlighten people's lives. They definitely need it these days. Anyway, thank you for this grateful moment. Take care. Hello, cat. May I have a simple black tea and a little cup, please? Sure. Yay, now we got someone who wants tea. A uh, black tea... this one. I think, it's, I think it's the one you want. Maybe. No more customers. I guess it's time to close the door and rest. I don't think that was simple black tea now that I think about it. That person can wait. I have no cup to fill. Okay, we'll check in a minute. Hi there, I would like something to drink with alcohol. If you have it in medium cup, please. Sure, give me a second. Okay. Medium cup. We'll talk to you a minute, sir. Um, yes, it's spice black tea. Okay. Oh, well. So you want something with alcohol? This one. much. This is exactly what I wanted. I see that you have improved your skills. This one is drinkable. Thank you. T 
take it as a compliment. At least you know how to better yourself. Not like this one part of your mind. I heard that Harry, I mean, Mr. March comes often here now. Yes, he does. He always looks very strained and obnoxious whenever he comes here. Anxious or obnoxious, I don't know. His boss seems to put a load of pressure on him. I am his boss. If I can share something with you, I am actually a little concerned about him. The last encounters with clients were not very great, and they were very insistent on things that don't matter. I asked Mr. Marsh to back out because I know that he can't handle stress very well. But apparently, that put him in a worse state, state than before. As if I lectured him in front of clients. I don't understand why. Even with my busy schedule, I try to make sure he does things right and to ele elevate his tasks. Just a random guess, but probably your wordings were not that great. I am confident with my communication skills. They never ever fail me in my career or my personal life. If you say so. Anyway, I need to get back to work and make sure he doesn't forget anything again. See you next time. How surprising. He was very talkative today. He doesn't show, but he must be very worried for Harry, actually. Hello, Harry. Please give me a fancy drink with whipped cream and a medium cup, please. Sure, just give me a second. This is exactly what I wanted. Hello, cat. May I have a drink with chocolate and spices and a medium cup, please? Sure. I wanted. I want something festive and chocolatey and a large cup, please. Large cup. And that's by Candy Canes. It's festive and. Yeah. Not what I wanted. Okay. And I thought we had it. Be back. I want something spiced with milk in a medium cup, please. Sure. Spiced with milk. Wait, what's the medium cup? I'm sorry, can I ask you to repeat your order, please? Yeah, sure. Something spiced with milk in a medium cup. Okay. Go ahead and make sure medium cup. Spiced with milk. This one, spice cocoa. But this could also be this one right here, latte. No, but spice black tea with milk. That sounds good. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. All my customers. I guess it's time to close the door and rest. Day 4 Hello, Clarkberry. I want something to wake up and have fun after work in a little cup, please. Sure, give me a second. Little cup. I guess people don't want espressos. I want something even a kid's drink, a medium cup, sure. Medium cup. We'll do a ch chocolate machine, just with the hot cocoa. And here we 
there you go. Thank you very much. Exactly what I wanted. Although, Harry, please give me a spicy drink with chocolate and a little cup, please. Sure. Little cup. Um, spicy cocoa. Sorry, I'm sorry, Harry. I messed that up, I guess. <laughs> oh, cat, may I have a vegetative and herbal drink? Sure, vegetative. Can I ask you to repeat? Yeah, sure. Launch cup? Okay. Wait, man, I keep. One more time. Launch cup. Launch cup. This one. And I'm not doing good this time today. Hi there, I would like to order something strong before getting back to work in a large cup, please. Sure, give me a second. Today's not a good day for me. What is, is this what you want? Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. Have a good day, sir. No more customers. I guess it's time to close the door and rest. Frogberry. I want a simple cocoa and a little cup, please. Mm -hmm. Little cup. And a simple cocoa. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. We'll talk to you in a minute, Harry. I want to see what this book says now. Mate, the mayor, always late. Specimen, a stern and stinky individual. He is he is Harry's cynical boss, but maybe a thoughtful one. Come in, Harry. We're on the way to take your order. You see me something? Even a kid, kid, a kid could drink in a large cup, please. Sure. Large cup. Machine. Go. Hot cocoa. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. Another tough day. Hey, you could always talk to me if you feel the need to. Is it your job again? Yes, it is. This time, my boss apparently wanted to talk with me in order to find a way to help me with the stress at work. That seems pretty good. This is why I fought at the start too. And then he started to list all the mistakes I did last month and how awful I was at my work as expected from him. He also told me I was always late, as if I'm not already running everywhere for the life of me. It's really not good for my heart. Rabbits shouldn't be stressed out or they can die, you know? I know, I know. Take a deep breath. He told me he was good with communication, but I beg to disagree. You know, he actually told me that he generally wants to help you. It doesn't seem like he's trying to. I can't even help myself. What am I supposed to do? Your boss is one of my regular customers. If you agree with it, I can try to talk with him for you. That would be so awesome. I definitely have faith in your communication skills. I will do my best. Let me just wait for the best moment. Of course, take your time, but not too much. Oh, you know what I mean. I have faith in you. Thank you, Harry. Have a nice rest. I want a drink with chocolate and spices and a large cup, please. Uh, Thank you very much. This is exactly what 
I wanted. Hi there, I'd like to order a beer drink of a strong flavor. Okay. Espresso. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. Cat, I have a basic and classic tea. Yes, wait. A size cup? Uh, there we go. See that you're getting very good at it, cat. I guess you've already met some of the villagers. Yes, I did. However, aside from a distressed rabbit, a certain fox, and a couple of a moth, I met mostly frogs that aren't very talkative. A colorful moth. That's how you see me? Well, I guess it fits well with my appearance. Oh, I'm sorry if it hurt you. Not at all. It was actually amusing. In fact, I am not really used to such familiarities. What do you mean? Well, as you already know, I am the mayor of this village. However, being a mayor in this region is something else than what you would expect. My mission here is to protect the village. This is why I am usually referred to as the protector, or at least the previous protector. The previous protector? Not the actual one? Well, long story short, the current protector is missing, and I have to assume its responsibilities now. I am sorry to hear that. And what do people need to be protected from? Well, a variety of events. The heavy rain, which started a few months ago, is one of them. By the way, the latter is also the reason why this village is now mostly populated by frogberries. They adore this kind of river, and now they are now and now they are now colonizing the village. Therefore, more and more people don't feel at home anymore, home here anymore, and some of them already left the village. I'm sad to hear that. But how were you supposed to prevent a heavy rain? It's not like you can control the river anyway. You're right. I'm just an old lady. I mean, a colorful moth. You finally made it. Ha ha ha. Thank you very much for the moment, cat. I have to leave now, but it was a pleasure. No more customers. I guess it's time to close the door and rest. Perfect order is 5 out of 5. That's what I was trying to do. Day 6. Hello, cat. May I have something to help me with my digestion in a medium cup, please? Okay. Medium cup. I think this won't be good. Herbal infusion. Herbal. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you. Have a good day. Hi there, I worked in some or a beer drink with a strong flavor. Sure. A beer drink with a strong flavor. Probably this one right here. Thank you very much, this is exactly what I wanted. Mr. Fell, may I talk to you? Is it worth consuming my precious time I could use for work? I'm sure it is. Go ahead. As you may know, I am aware of a variety of events that happened between you and Harry. And I know you discussed his behavior and issues with him in order to help him. Indeed I did. Did it? Does it sound bad to you? No, I are. However, 
I am certain you underestimate the impact of your words on him. Have you considered that you may harm that you may cause harm to his health through bad communication? I have actually. I know it's better than ever. Years ago, I had a coworker who was a rabbit as well. He was one of my best friends. He rapidly got overwhelmed with his work. At first, I didn't really notice. But with time passing, his health drastically deteriorated. Sadly, the worst happened before I even had time to breathe. I was devastated. I didn't see it coming. I had no idea how to deal with this situation. I am sorry for your loss. I didn't know you were this familiar with rabbit's conditions. Unexpected, right? Especially knowing the relationship between foxes and rabbits that are not so great. Anyway, since then, I swore to myself not to let this happen again. This is why I'm. This is why I am worried about Harry. I am trying to help him. I swear. I want to give him the keys to not get submerged with his rook, and I know I can give him this knowledge. You should share the story with him. I don't know exactly the words you used with him, but this way to approach the issue seems much better. Do you think so? Yes. Instead of pointing fingers. On his difficulties, you show you are actually sensitive to his feelings. You can build a connection with him in a way. Then, once the trust will be installed between the both of you, you will be able to share your knowledge. I usually don't think much about it, but I like how you are thinking. That's the kind of skills I develop, even with an empty coffee shop. Haha. Uh -huh. You are funny. I think you have a better thing to do now. For now, you're right. My apologies. Apologies. I will now take my leave. Have a nice day, cat. Hmm. And thank you. Please give me something original with a with chocolate and a little cup, please. Sure. Something original. Coco should be original. Thank you. What? That's original. I want to drink with chocolate and spices in there. Okay, please. Okay. Um. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. Thank you very much. Is that what I wanted? No more customers. I guess it's time to close the door and rest. Day seven. Mayor, the cat may have, have a basic and classic tea and medium cup. Yeah. Medium cup. You want a basic classic tea? Should be this plain green tea. There you go. Thank you very much. This is exactly what I wanted. By the way, Catherine. Are you informed of the relationship between Harry Marsh and Mr. Fell? What do you mean? It really feels like they are not able to support each other. And I don't know what to do. Maybe you can help me. You probably know them much better than I do. I am sorry to say you're wrong this time. Am I? Yes, you are. As a cafe owner, you have the opportunity to talk with everyone in this village during their favorite break time. You have all the information from every point of view. None of us can compete with you in this area. I guess. Don't pressure yourself too much on how to deal with people's problems. If they already feel like talking to you, that means you're already making them comfortable here. Thank you for your insight. I hope you feel comfortable here too. 
Do not hesitate if you need to express your feelings around a couple of drinks. Aha. Uh -huh. Now I understand why you enjoy this job so much. You're looking for actual gossiping. I don't know what you're talking about. Perhaps I will give you some one day. But one thing at a time. And for now, I have to leave. As always, it was a pleasure. Hello, Harry. Please give me something to have. Please give me something to have. Wake up and have fun after work in a medium cup, please. Okay, so you don't want an espresso. So... Maybe an Irish coffee? I'm guessing there. Okay, I'll try this. Thank you very much, That's exactly what I wanted. Hello, Fawn? Hi there, I would like something to order to... Okay, you want one too. Exactly what I wanted. I want something spiced with milk. Okay. Spiced with milk. Wait. A size cup? Little cup. Okay. Uh, little cup. Spiced with milk. What do we have with milk? Steam milk. Spice black tea with milk. Exactly what I wanted. Have a good day, Fog Billy. Simple black tea. Is this one? Yo, great. Is this black tea? Yeah, it is. Okay, we're getting good at this. No more customers. I guess it's time to close the door and rest. Day eight. Mayor? Yeah, I was. I knew it was right. Cat, may I have a drink of a hint of citrus fruit and a little cup? Okay. Little cup. Um, nothing there. Probably this one. Uh, yeah, it's probably this one. Hey, nope, not, not what you wanted, I'm sorry. I want a basic and classic tea and a large cup. Okay. Large cup. And you want something basic? So this one? Day, fog, baby. Hello? Hi there, I like to order something to have to wake up and have fun after work. Medium cup, sure. Medium cup. And this one. Irish coffee. Here you go. Something original with chocolate and a wash cup, please. Sure. So... Probably this one. Not exactly what I wanted, but okay. Hello, Harry. Please give me something with our car, if you have it in a little cup, please. Yeah. That's fine, a little cup. Thank you very much, this is 
exactly what I wanted. No more customers. I guess it's time to close the door and rest. Day 9. Day here. Nope, Fogberry. Oh, something even in the kitchen. Kitchen. Okay. Me a cup. Some make cake or drink. This one. Which is a basic hot cocoa. There you go. Have a good day. Love Fogberry. Basic and classic tea. Okay. There we go. Classic. Okay. Thank you. Have a good day. Hello, Mr. Bell. A bitter drink with a strong flavor. A large cup. Okay. Large cup. This one. This one. So, have a good day. Hello, Mayor. Hello, Cat. May I have a vegetable and herbal drink in a large cup? Yep. Large cup. It was this one, I'm pretty sure. Right? I'm pretty sure it was this one, depending on. <laughs> I don't remember off the top of my head. Nope. It wasn't that one. Hello, Harry. Please give me a fancy drink with whipped cream in a medium cup. Okay. Medium cup. Fancy drink. Thank you. This is not who I wanted. I guess it's time to close the door and rest. Day 10. Hello, cat. May I have some festive and chocolatey in a medium cup, please? Okay. Medium cup. Reminds me of the holidays. Maybe it's this one. Spicy cocoa. Exactly what I wanted. As always, you exactly know how to please me. That's part of my job. Taking care of my customers is what I like the most. I want them to feel at home here. As if we were a family. You're such a kind person. I would love to feel at home in this village. Aren't you? Not really. As I told you, I am the previous protector. More precisely, the seventh, seventh, seventh protector of this village. But this title is not something I obtained. I was meant to be the protector. Like a king's offspring? No. If you look closely, you can see that I can trade that. If you look closely, you can't see that. Contrary to any other moth, I also have horns. These are heaven's blessings. For short, I would say supernatural powers. So you actually could prevent the heavy rain. Indeed. This is something I was used to when I was younger, when it was my role to protect this village. However, the older I become, the less strength I have as my blessing is fading. To ensure the protection of this village, a new protector is born every century. Wait, wait, wait. How old are you? One doesn't ask such questions to an old lady, you veiled devil. Oh, sorry. He he. But in this century, a real case happened. Two protectors were born. At first, it was seen as an anomaly. People thought one of them was not strong enough to be a protector. So they decided to fight in order to determine who deserves the title. One of them lost with his horns being broken. However, years later, we discovered that another area had to be protected. So both protectors were meant to be. At the end of the day, 
The protector that was meant to be protect this village has no more power. And now, I'm here assuming someone else's position, not able to live my own life. I was not expecting such a story. I don't know what to say. No need to say anything. All I wanted was a friend of mine listening to me, and you offered exactly what I wanted. Thank you very much, Cat. You are a precious friend. Congratulations. You have unlocked all the characters' stories. You can continue to play, but no more stories will happen. Thank you for playing our game. Follow up for more. So this was this game that I told you about that we decided to check out, Brewing Bonds. If this is something you enjoy though, let me know in the comments below. What was your favorite part? If you like this video, remember to like the video, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time in another game. Thanks for watching everyone. See you again soon. Bye bye.